what up boys welcome back once again i hope you guys are having a great day or a great night first and foremost i just want to apologize for missing the upload on last week and the week before uh, i've been quite busy i haven't had a lot of time to play and record so i'm finally back at it again so i'm glad to have you guys back and i uh, hope you guys are doing good appreciate you guys uh being patient of course today i'm doing a special little run which a lot of you guys have recommended me to do after i defeat a boss i'm going to use their boss weapon to defeat the next boss and then i use that next boss's boss weapon to defeat the other boss and so on and so forth it's kind of an interesting run i did not come up with this i would have never came up with this uh, on my own you guys are a lot more creative than i am honestly especially with your comments speaking of comments i want to give a quick shout out to these comments i mean they're just so funny and <laughs> i love it when you guys comment stuff like this it's honestly hilarious i appreciate it once again this should be a fun run we're going to be switching up weapons quite frequently as a disclaimer you need petrified dragon bones to reinforce a boss traded weapons so i was thinking of a way to go an unlimited amount just to make it more practical for you guys i'm not going to be doing that also for the sake if you guys want to try this out you can go ahead and do this run yourself yeah boys enough jibber jabber uh sorry for the mouthful and let's go ahead and start this probably going to need a decent amount of strength and dexterity as most of the weapons require a high level dex high level strength most not all and you know some require faith some require intelligence once again a warrior has the most strength and has a good amount of dexterity we can always level up intelligence and faith to whatever the weapon requires and a bonfire aesthetic as usual I have to pull up as the homie doncho mr crollo lucifer i'm going to be stealing all the boss weapons kind of butchered his face but whatever i'm once again going with the flow for the first boss i have to kill with a normal weapon i think the first boss i should go for is flexile sentry because once we kill him we can head towards trade and he is the one who trades flexile sentry's weapon definitely gonna need a lot of souls so of course yo it's been like forever it's been like three weeks homie holy yo no wonder i haven't been sleeping good all right hold on come here homie let me kill you in broad daylight i want everybody to see all right, there we go, get a set so we can get more souls along the way. About Ruin Sentinels, they don't have a boss, traded weapons. They have the uh, the spell. I'm gonna need to get a lot of intelligence so I can use that to kill the next boss. I'm definitely gonna include those kind of things, like the spells that the bosses give. Yeah, this is a little bit weird. I have to kill a Dragon Rider to get to Flexile Sentry. There's twin Dragon Riders, the same soul as the Dragon Rider here. I don't know of any methods to get past a uh, Dragon Rider without killing him, so I'm just gonna cheese him and the Dragon Rider soul. I'll hang on to that when i kill twin dragon riders i can use um, the soul to trade it for the bow and use the bow to kill the next boss some of you guys who try this out for yourselves you might find a better way to approach it than me i'm just going with whatever is in my head there's two npcs that provide boss weapons that's strayed in orn effects to get to orn effects you have to kill uh scorpionus Nachka in congregation she sells the better boss weapons honestly in my opinion but strayed does still have some good ones talk to my homie galvin i'll buy the poison arrows of course use that later on head inside of the house all right, open up the chest, and there it is. Frank and Bench of Yore. Get the uh, time I shards to reinforce whatever in the meantime. Soldier's Ring might come in handy for the, some of the big weapons later on. Bandit Axe in the meantime. Perhaps I'll just use that. Should be good enough to get past uh, Flexile Sentry with. There it is. Large Silver Proud Knight. Another soul right there. We'll go get the blacksmith freed up. Reinforce this bandit axe to like plus four. Talk to Valencia, sweetheart. It's been a minute, girl. Buy the key. Yeah, we'll get the bright bug. Uh, Ten of these. Talk to her, get the uh, ring, and then talk to her some more. Get her number. Never mind, she wants to move. Kill that lizard, get the Tanai shards, two of them. Definitely get the quest line going for the uh, engraved gauntlets. Some orgasmic ooze. Get his dialogue exhausted. Some fire arrows. Talk to my dude. Now we can break into his crib, get the soul vessel, because once again, I might need some soul vessels. All right, and there it is. All right, there we go. Plus four. All right, here we go. He is weaker to fire, but I don't have the uh, gold or the fire pine resins, so this should suffice. Hell yeah, big damage. Can we finish him off here? Probably not. The stagger? Oh, I should have committed. Hell nah. And bop. Beautiful. Head inside of here. Pick up this key. There it is. And open up this door with the key that we just got. The soul vessel into here. Or the, uh, sorry. The Ferris Lockstone into there. Which is going to open up this door. And another soul vessel. So now we have two. And I'm just going to drop down here and get this uh, bonfire aesthetic while I'm at it. There it is. So yeah, we'll go ahead and free up straight with the Frank Adventure Fjord that we got from uh, No Man's Wharf. The run begins now. You know what? Go ahead and uh, go ahead and discard that. So far, we got the warp sword, the arc sword, barbed club from Flexile. So I can choose which one I want to use. Um, so I think I have to be a little bit smart about this. It does require a little bit of planning because you don't want to use the good weapons early on. We can only use them once. I'm gonna save the twin blade because this thing's actually not bad. It's pretty good. Honestly, it doesn't even matter what I get. The next boss is gonna be easy anyway. So. I'm just gonna go ahead and buy the uh i'll try the warp sword so we'll go ahead and trade that the crash bandicoot 3 warp sword there it is that's 25 dexterity so let's go ahead and just pop all these souls can we get enough we can get enough hell yeah i'm gonna get just enough so i can use it and yeah we're good to go i think the smartest thing is to get orn effects freed up as soon as possible in case i run out of weapons from uh strayed all right so the next boss i want to go for is scorpion snatchka i do need a uh fragment bench of yours so what i'm gonna do is head to the gutter pick some up all right buy that cat ring there we go. All right, we're chilling. Oh, the Dark Knight Stone might come in use, so pick that shit up. Dark Knight Stone. I'm probably not going to be uh, infusing every single weapon I get. 
But maybe if we're lacking damage for a uh, specific boss fight, I might go with an infusion just to help it out. And that fragment branch of yore, nice. Uh, uh, I don't even know. Martian mana high and that shit, bro. The second fragment branch of yore already will free her ass up. Bugsy, get out the way. How you doing? Go stupid. Boy, gumbody, gumbody. Yeah, you in jail now, boy. What you gonna do, buddy? This guy bailed himself out. Damn, like that. I'll pick this up. Another soul of a proud knight, large one. Uh, we'll pick up that RTSR. There it is. A uh, another soul right there. Chlorine ring plus one. Silver brave warrior. Another soul. Nice. Kill him. Get the fan key so we can free up orn effects. Big boy damage. I'll just pick this soul up and go. Get one petrified dragon bone. Pick up this soul. Look at the last soul in the area. Now we got a bunch. Open up this with the fan key. She's good to go. So we'll meet her in Brightstone Cove. All right, here we go. Knock off Quayleg. Holy, I'm tickling. Yeah, hit that ass or whatever's left of it. Yeah, buddy. This is that big boy damage, right, boys? This is the damage I've been waiting for. Hold on, let me see some shit real quick. You got red eyes. We got scars. Damn, she ugly as hell, bro. Quaylag was bad as hell. Hell yeah, let's go. No, 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 no. Let's go. Go ahead and trade uh, Scorpion Nisnachka's soul for a soul shower. There it is. Requires 22 intelligence. So let's go ahead and trade that. Whenever we're done with the weapon, we'll put it in the vault. So there we go. And all of these I'm going to get rid of. So we can kind of see what we have at the end. We'll get rid of these. Yep, 22. Yeah, I'm gonna need to get four more attunement. We'll just pop all of these. One more should do. If my Oppenheimer is Oppenheiming, this should be enough. Nope, never mind. I don't want to pop them all right now. One attunement slot. Nice. Soul shower. All right, then head over here where we got the orgasmic ooze. So I'll open up the chest, and there it is. Source for staff and some amber herbs. And as you boys know, Congregation does not give a boss soul. So after we kill Congregation, we'll have to use Dragon Rider's soul to fight the next boss because we're not gonna get anything from here. Pussy Strat Engage, let's go. Should be nice for this boss. Oh my lord. <laughs> no way, bro. <laughs> this is not good. This is not good. I'm out of... No, okay. I gotta get out of here. I gotta reinforce the staff or something. Oh, I'm about to die to congregation. I can't do this right now. Get three 10 eye shards. Yeah. Reinforce this bad boy to plus... Yeah, four. Might as well. Sure. Do more damage. A little better. Still kind of... They're gonna heal though. I gotta be careful. Let's go. No, he's healing. This boss fight's hard, bro. This game is hard now. Spray. What is that tracking? This spell is ass, bro. What the hell? Are you taking a nap, buddy? Bro, laying on the floor. <laughs> i never seen that attack in my life. No, if I pop a Twilight Herb, it's not enough. He fell asleep. He's like, bro, you're lacking today. What's going on? He's like, where's the damage at? I'm going to put 40, 40 into intelligence, right? I can't even level up 10. I need 50. I farmed for a bit of souls. So we should have enough for 50. There we go. Just gun him down, right? Hell yeah, that's good damage. Bro, spat on me. Kill his ass. There it is, Staff of Wisdom, which requires 50 intelligence. So there we go. We got a better staff. Let's go ahead and just reinforce this as much as we can, since I don't care about having Twinkling Titanites. So there we go. Two. Yep. Plus two should be good enough. Is he falling down again? Bro, he's tired of this build. He's falling asleep. Actually, he's perfect attack. Holy, let's go. The damage. Oh, let's go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Want to go ahead and lay down for me again? That'd be awesome. Oh, yeah. We're good, buddy. Come on. This is the one. Hell yeah. <laughs> See a chump. Oh my lord. All of that just to kill last giant. And then we're going to trade. I need 45 strength. All right. Well, I got to get it. I think this is overall a pretty good build. Yeah. Well, there goes my second soul vessel. All right, boys. It's enough. There we go. There's a the damage. Stop that. Hell yeah. That's one down. Come on. Prowling almost dead. All right. He's dead. Next, buddy. Hell yeah. Yo, what's going on, bro? Congregation's a demon. Where am I hitting? And boom! Finally. Oh, Lord. I'm going to get the halberd because I want to save the uh, twin blade for later on. For the halberd, yeah. So we'll go ahead and put this in here. All right, so let's go ahead and take out uh, Big Boy Pursuer. Oh, no. Right, I'm a little bit slow. My bad, boys. Here we go. That's not bad. R2, R2. Hell, yeah. I like that. But I have pine resins. Why don't I use them? Wait, what the hell? Let me pop this shit real quick. I can't even pop it. Never mind. Here we go. Boom. Bam. Bop, bop. I like that. Yo, plus five would go crazy. This is good enough. What's up? Ooh, the stagger. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. And boom. I love it. <laughs> All right. First things first, grab the dull ember. Like I said, it might come in use. Trade. And there it is. Pursuer's Ultra Greatsword. And we have enough stats for it, thankfully. So 
There we go. Then we'll go ahead and put the Dragon Rider Halberd in the item box. What I have planned is I want to take out uh, Orstein, and then we're going to use Orstein's weapon to farm Rotten with, just to stack up souls and level up a shit ton so we don't have to worry about it for the rest of the run. Or, you know, for the majority of the run. We might have to farm him later on to, you know, level up some stats. Boom, boom. Hell yeah. There's a Petrified Dragonborn right there, so we'll save that, of course. We have only, how much do we have? We have two? Yeah. What's up, homie? You got Guinevere's number, like I asked? No. One hands. What? I thought it was a... Uh... It's a vertical attack. I thought it was horizontal, but whatever. Almost got him. Finish it off with an R2. Only it is a Defaz. Holy fam. Pretty good. But we also got the old Leo ring. Excuse me. <laughs> into the pit. Patch by Dragon Bone. You'll knock his ass into the pit. Imagine. Boom. <laughs> What's up, homie? And. Oh, that would have been crazy. Yo, you ruined it. Nothing her ass, man. Yes, sir. Oh, hold on. Let me see. Oh, she got nothing on her, bro. All right, trade, and there it is. Let's go ahead and trade this. All right, let's go ahead and remove the Pursuer's Ultra Grey Sword. It was fun while it lasted. They didn't last too long, just like I do in bed. I mean, huh? 14 fate, uh, just to get the requirements for the weapon. There we go, now we're chilling. This is a thrust weapon, so it's gonna work very nice with the old deal ring. And it has lightning, oh, oh, I didn't even know it did that. Hold up, bro. I wonder if it double hits, like the uh, Ice Rapier. If I hit Ron with a weapon and with the lightning, I wonder if it's gonna do more damage. Ron is weak to lightning and to thrust weapons, so this is gonna be very nice against him. That's why I chose it. But yeah, in the meantime, I'm just gonna buy the rest of the Bright Bugs. So we have 16, that's enough for, we got enough for a dark weapon. We just need one attunement slot. We'll level up this in the meantime. All right, here we go. You know what, not bad, actually. Wow, it's pretty fast too. R2, let's see. Oh yeah, that's huge. It double hits. Oh, counter hits, come on. Oh baby, I love it. Hell yeah, just R1, R1. Look at that, that's amazing. Yeah, farming him should be easy. Finish him off with an R2. Look at that, amazing. Put on the set, get some souls. So now, because obviously I killed Ron, I have to use the Butcher's Knife. However, like it's not gonna make any sense if I buy the Butcher's Knife and then use it on Ron, because I just killed Ron with the uh, Dragon Slayer Spear. So for farming him, I'm gonna use this weapon. Like I'm gonna use the weapon that I killed him with initially to farm him. And once we go to the next boss, then I'll trade his soul for the Butcher's Knife. And I have to keep in mind to leave one old dead one soul, because I'm gonna need the old dead one soul to trade for the Crypt Black Sword in the future. You know what, we'll just burn an aesthetic now and kill him again. So if I'm farming any other bosses in the in the future of this run, it's gonna be with the weapon that I killed him with. For example, Giant Lord. Like, I'm probably going to farm him a little bit, maybe. Whatever weapon I kill him with is the weapon I'm going to be farming him with. I might consider doing around with this individually. Seems like a fun weapon. Spears are honestly underrated. They're very efficient and fun. The range is awesome, so you can just sit back and poke with a little, like, stamina consumption. Should be able to finish him off here. Beautiful dog. Absolutely beautiful, just like you guys. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. Level 97, 12 vigor, 16 endurance, uh, 10 attunement, 33 strength, 33 dex, and 10 adaptability. Oh, I didn't kill her, so I have to pay her. Whatever, we'll just pay her the $2,000. All right, purchase, dark weapon, and there it is. So now we can use that on future weapons, and this one, hopefully, as well. So let's go ahead and attune it. I can't. That's unfortunate, whatever. We finished them off right here? Holy, we actually did. Wow, <laughs> that's a big chunk. That's got to be the most creepy enemy in the game. Yeah, no, no doubt. What do you guys think? What's the most creepy enemy for you guys? All right, big boys. The R2 from a distance. Boom. Beautiful. Forgotten key, soul of a giant. Get the Petrified Dragon Bone. All right, open up this door with the Forgotten key DLC key. Nice. We'll get ourselves the staff. Yeah, the witch tree branch. We got to buy some homer bones too. We're almost out. All right, what we got? Where's that pussycat at? Hell yeah. You can smell me. I can smell you. Shit. You haven't showered in two weeks. All right, buy that shit. Yeah, we'll do that for now. Level 114. I have one aesthetic left. Well, there's the butcher's knife. We'll go ahead and trade that, of course. A special r2 that's fast as hell jesus i love it all right we'll go ahead and put the uh spear in the vault there it is soul great hero that's twenty thousand souls soul vessel in here yeah there it is soul vessel now we got an extra one just in case soul of a hero ten thousand souls petrified dragon bones and twinkling titties and then on the left some bolt stones and bleed stones those bolt stones might come in clutch since we're not reinforcing our weapons we're definitely gonna need the flins ring open up this chest bling blau there it is flins ring extra 50 more damage flat hold up bro let me see I'm trying to get the eternal sanctum key so we can get some more uh, bonfire aesthetics later on. All right, there it is. Open up this chest. What you looking at, homie? Go ahead, try me. Lightning clutch ring. Vio Kaye. There it is. Two bright bugs. Three aesthetics because I need 35 intelligence for heavy homing soul arrow and I want to kill rune sentinels within the next couple of bosses. I'm going to start leveling up intelligence. All right, the next boss. Royal Rat Vanguard. Hey, you dead, homie. See you later. What she drop? Armor of Arus. Holy, it's kind of drippy. I'm gonna keep that shit on. I like that. What's up, homies? What's up, big boy? Big chief. Oh, that damage. Half his HP. Let me slaughter. That's it, baby. Dead already. Hell yeah. Where y'all going, huh? Bingo. I gotta say it every time. I'm sorry. First things first. Let me go pick up that pyromancy glove. And there we go. 
trade where is it at there it is toxic mist for the royal rat vanguard soul go ahead and trade that go ahead and put the butcher's knife in the vault first things first i'm going to jump over here on the right these guys look how much there are holy yeah one two keep falling at three there we go who's that four you next on me come on if johnny jumps off the bridge you're not going to do it you got to prove the teacher's wrong taking a stroll in the park go okay there you go all right johnny he's coming vogue magazine baby yeah toxic this guy hopefully that's going to kill him i don't know if it will uh, yeah he's dead say less all right bet that's the strat oh shit buddy oh i dodged it no no way i'm him i'm him use one on this guy hey buddy get toxic and i'll wait for executioners to take out these guys oh no the homie <laughs> he got melted here we go get his ass toxic that shit's going down quick i just gotta sit back relax grab some popcorn you know what i mean do it again it ran out this should be the last one hell yeah wrong hood buddy wrong hood there he goes <laughs> so easy trade yep there it is so we have the uh chariot lance and we also have the uh shield bow forget that i'm buying the lance oh it causes bleeding okay that's the one thing special about it i guess that's pretty cool put toxic mist in the vault I'm not gonna forget to buy the bright bug so I'll go ahead and buy them right now sorry buddy bro is looking in the chest like yo what's in that bitch all right merciless rowena hell yeah that shit's kind of crazy holy go ahead and get crate and freed up all right here we go skella boys one shot this dude not even close bro boom come on all right line up boys hell yeah the pinwheel guys all right buddy it's enough play time easy enough get that bonfire aesthetic and keep talking to her poison oh i got poisoned by talking to her well that's how you know the bitch is toxic and get me this fragrant branch of yore and there it is roaring halberd has dark scaling so it's pretty good go ahead and trade that there we go put this in the vault yep i'm gonna go ahead and pop a bright bug for this here we go oh shit it's pretty good no rtsr nothing holy it's weapon slaps running attack look at that beautiful oh yeah the tip of the blade that shit does damage do an r1 r2 if i can should be deadly yeah look at that there we go easy actually pretty good i like this weapon all right now we got the uh, rune sentinel soul we could trade that for homing soul arrow which we need 35 intelligence for i'm only at 20 i need 15 more and spells there it is heavy homing soul arrow 35 intelligence so he's the one that sells it okay there we go Twenty-eight thousand, lord i don't even know if that was worth it but whatever but we can go ahead and put that ring on which increases my intelligence by five as you can see i just need to farm for 10 more levels put the uh, roaring halberd in the vault finish him off here hell yeah brother i don't want to kill him again if i if i don't need to so let's go ahead and find out if this is enough yeah we have more than enough so we just need 30 go ahead and attune yep i have large time night, so i'll get it to plus four five sure that should be enough good amount more damage all right here we go cover this demon what's up buddy see the damage oh, that's not bad you got plenty of herbs bro's moving in circles you know i got a tracker on you huh it doesn't matter if you move he's trying to like sidestep the arrows and boom beautiful put this bad boy in the box so yeah trade and there it is bone scythe we get that from covetous demon soul so there we go pay talk to him right there he is talk to him can i kill this guy hell yeah pitch by dragon bones you know what this time we'll kill creighton this time boom bitch yes sir talk to him get the key very nice you next homie what you give me paid spear nah bro i'm good we're not using that open up a zit chest better not be followed oh no he's following me <gasps> grave collins bling blah and get out let's hope we get some critical hits discard all of these hell yeah discard there we go yeah looks good 14 vigor 18 endurance and 12 adaptability hell yeah brother what up baby girl it's been a minute let me smack that First things first, let me just smack that. Hey, she's throwing it back. She reciprocating the energy. All right, then let me do it again. All right, here's the combo. Running attack, R1. She healing. There we go. Oh, critical hit. No way. Already? Off to a good off to a good start, I was about to say. Cap. That's cap. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm good. All right, finish her off. R2. And bop. There we go. There's Mitha. There it is. Mitha's bent blade. Put the bone scythe in the uh, item box. So talk to 6 9 himself. Yes, sir. Joining his covenant. That gives us the rat ring. 67 plus 68 poison damage. Crest of the rat on. And that goes from 67 plus 118. So from 68 to 118. Pretty good. So we'll put that on in the meantime. Here we go. Smelter demon. Pop a bright buck for sure. Oh, no. Beautiful. Let's get him poisoned. Hell yeah. He's poisoned already. 
Hell yeah, poisoned. R2? What's that one hand R2? That's sick as hell. I already knew this weapon was going to be good. As I tried it out at my poison build, honestly, crazy. Let's go ahead and head down here, kill this Pursuer with the Ring of Blaze plus one. Ah, oh, whatever, he did. Hell yeah, brother. There it is, Ring of Blaze plus one. A good amount more damage. Mythos Band Blade, done. There it is, Smelter Sword. Trade that, and the R2 attack for this is destructive. But all right, time for Gargoyles. Let's see if we can uh, take them out fast enough before the others respawn. Let's see. Oh, that's not bad. R2? Jeez. Come on, get his ass. This is what I mean, you need a good weapon for this boss fight. They're not tanky, but they're pretty healthy. Roll R1. Right on the tail. Oh, that's a critical too. Yeah, you are not surviving that. Dive, I dare you. Boom, two for one. Oh, you want to breathe fire? Say your less, fam. Oh, there it is, baby. There's a the damage. Yo, it's going to break when I kill him. Here we go. R2. Boom. <laughs> oh, it didn't break. No way. Literally one durability. That's crazy. There we go, finally. Boom. Well, there's that bright bug. Put that in the vault. I want to discard this. Go ahead and trade that. There's a lot of boss weapons I never tried out before. This is definitely one of them. It's a regular spear, huh? Nothing special? Damn. Wait, wait, wait. That didn't hit him? Forlorn? Are you sure, buddy? Nah, 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 nah. Oh, shit. The backstab. <laughs> Yo, the range on this is nice. Wow. Oh, that was too easy. Here we go again. Here we go. Want to come and try me? You should know. Let's hope this uh, Bident comes in clutch. Hit him. Yeah, that's pretty good. Regardless, really good. I'm doing the same shit over and over again. Oh, there's a critical, baby. I don't know how much. Oh, Wrath of Gods. I'm good, homie. Diving into the lava is not going to save me from Wrath of Gods. I should have just tanked it. Oh, see, clapped. Oh, that's it. Holy. There we go. Finish him off here. R2. Boom, bitch. Nice enough. Honestly, pretty good weapon. Old Iron King's weapon. So back to Ornifex. And there it is. Has fire damage. Pretty cool hammer. So yeah, go ahead and trade that. We'll go ahead and put the Bidens in the vault. R2 is a special attack. Look at that. Beautiful. So I'm going to kill Duke's Day Freya next. So buy them bright bugs. 20 faith. One more. One more vigor. Yeah, that works out. What up, Shelob? Shelob? Whatever her name is. Let me cook. Let's we'll see the damage. That's not bad. I want to do the R2 special. Holy, that's a big chunk. Yo, imagine that plus five. This thing would be deadly against her. She's weak to fire, so... Yes, I can. That's big damage. R1, R2 again. Critical. Oh, baby. There goes the head, too. What up, boys? World Cup. Cristiano Ronaldinho, Tom Brady, Jeff Hardy, David Beckham. Let's go. I got to set up the assist. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, he got it. Real one. All right, get that out of here before I kill y'all. Yeah, that's what I thought. They know the game is over. As soon as the head falls down, as soon as they get the goal, they all just run away, bro. Oh, yeah, here we go. So Spider Fang, A scaling and dexterity. Okay. And Spider Suck. S scaling and dexterity. What is this? Oh, it's a thrusting sword. So it's like a rapier. Yeah, I'll go for the spider fang. Put that baby in the vault. There we go. Y'all want to join me on this elevator? Hell yeah. <laughs> he listened. Pop his bright bug. Let me slow her down if I can. Let's see. Does it work? Oh shit, it does damage. Unless I hit her with my weapon. Damn, this thing's actually nice. Okay, this definitely does not slow her down. Yo, what is this damage? Wait, 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 wait. Imagine that plus five. I know I keep saying imagine that plus five, but imagine. Like, look at this. Bro, she's dead. What? I was not expecting that. What? <laughs> is this weapon good? I don't even know. I never tried it before. I think it's because of the bright bug and the dark weapon, honestly. Yeah, Lost Sinner's Sword. There it is. I've never used this weapon before, but I've read some things about it. I may be wrong. That, like, the more sin you commit, the more damage you do or some shit. Or the less damage you do. I don't know. You guys got to clarify for that in the comments for me. Uh, anyways, we'll go ahead and trade for it. For those who don't know, if you're in the Rat Covenant, these guys don't come after you. So it's kind of nice to have. Oh, phenomenal. Oh, look at that. Good start. <laughs> Jesus. One shot these guys for sure. That's more like it. Hell yeah. Did I kill all of them? No way. All right, we're chilling. Yeah, that's pretty good damage. Would be cool if we can get the Chaos Blade, but that's on New Game Plus, by the way. Come on, let me smack that shit. All on the floor. Hell yeah, keep going. Oh, is he barfing? No. No. Let's go, baby. I thought I was going to struggle against this boss. As you can see, there's no weapon that the authority gives. There's no weapon that Strayed gives uh, with authority soul. But there is a spell which is Acid Surge. Does not directly damage foes, but eats away at their equipment instead. Yeah, another Pyromancy inspired by perniciousness. What the fuck? What is that word? Anyways, we'll get it and we'll put it on. Get out our Dragon Slayer Spear. And y'all boys already know. Y'all boys already know. We're going to use the Crypt Black Sword from Ron's Old Dead One Soul to fight the next boss. I'm sorry, I always choose you. But there you go. We'll go ahead and pop the Ron's Soul, get rid of that, of course. And there it is. Crypt Black Sword, A-Scaling and Dark. Honestly, one of the best weapons. 
uh, put this in the vault once again. I'll get two attunement slots, one for Dark Weapon, one for Acid Search. We've gotten all the side bosses up until now. Before we go for Twin Dragon Riders, let's go ahead and head back to McDonald's Duff. Man, this feels weird. Not going to him in the first place. I don't even have his bonfire. <laughs> That's crazy. Damage increase, insane. Go ahead and put a Dark Knight Stone on this bad boy. That's going to give it roughly 50 something more damage. Yeah, it's pretty nice. And of course, pick up the DLC key to the Ivory King. We got to remember to use uh, Acid Surge. So uh, I'm definitely going to pop a Bright Bug. Twin bitches hop enough a jet ski. Acid Surge. I don't even know if it works on him, but we're using it. Here we go. Holy. Good damage. Does it even work on him? Oh, I can't even tell the difference, honestly. All right, then we'll use it on him. We got one more charge. Boom. Suffer. Like the smell of that. Critical. Jeez. Does it even work on bosses is the question. Or is it only for PvP? One more attack. Beautiful, bro. <laughs> Can I even break the boss's equipment? Is that even possible? I don't know. Whatever. We used it anyways. Killing twin dragon riders gives you the same soul as the uh, previous dragon rider in the beginning. We got the halberd in the beginning, so we're going to pick up a different weapon. I might need a chime, so I'm going to pick this up because I'm going to get Dark Lurker's soul. Yeah, I'll pick up Katha's chime. Might need it to cast uh, the spell you get from Dark Lurker's soul. Oh, wait. If I can break her armor, does that mean it, does that mean it disappears? Say less, fam. Come on. That shit not broken yet. Bruh. Let me see some. Boom. Holy <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad. Because looking glass knight is weak to magic, so this thing's pretty nice against him. So go ahead and trade that. Uh, I'm gonna miss you. There we go. Put that shit in the vault. Another soul vessel. Yeah, now we have two. Pop this bright bug. Dark weapon. You think you slick? Look at his damage. Beautiful. No way. Plus zero. No way, fam. Oh, critical. I like it. R2. Jeez. Wait, how am I not getting hit? What the hell is going on? I got infinity. Am I Gojo? No way. Bro, I'm actually Gojo. This is crazy. No way. No way, fam. Zero hit run. That was smooth criminal shit right there. Anyways, more bonfire aesthetics in that chest. Three of them. Now we got like, what, eight? Yeah. And there it is. The Throned Greatsword. So 14 faith. It has lightning scaling, which I like to see. A passage to another world. That's crazy. Yo, imagine it was like a Easter egg where you get this weapon and you can like enter a DLC with it. Like, you know, like the painting in DS1 where you fight like Priscilla's older sister or some shit. That'd be crazy. Put it in the vault. Let's go. Like the Dragon Slayer Spear. Oh, that's going to be fun to use. All right, let me see the damage. Okay, that's pretty good. Belly flop. He has to do it every single time. I don't know why. R2. Oh, I like that. Critical 2? No way. R1, R2. Not bad. I don't think I hit him twice there. Another belly flop. Bro, this ain't the YMCA, bro. Oh, look at that. Angled it perfectly. Open up. Oh, perfect time. No? No. Don't close. <laughs> Like, oh, no, we're closed. Come back tomorrow. Nah, 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 nah. All right, insert into here. That should get rid of it. Hell yeah, buddy. Pause, bro. Does that get rid of it? It does get rid of it. Nice. What up, girl? Just me and you. Let me close this door real quick. I can't. God damn. Trying to get freaky and nasty. Bro, she disappeared. She, she don't want me. That's tough. Do you have what I need? Yeah, he does. There it is. Spotted whip. Oh, I forgot about that. 133 poison damage. Holy. We're versing Velstat with this. <laughs> well, that's going to be interesting. There we go. All right, put this bad boy in the vault. It was nice having you no way my poison goes up by a lot you know what let's do it poison stone on that baby let's go all right here we go big boy velstat let's do this get him poison for sure you know what that's not bad but if he buffs up and gets resistant then it's gonna be tough there he's poisoned anyway so we're chilling let's keep hitting him while he's sticking away oh, oh no he's buffing up already oh no he's about to be heavily resistant oh critical though <laughs> let's go behind him easy as hell he's poisoned oh, no one more hell yeah buddy run away oh no no, 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 never mind, don't run. <laughs> never mind. Hell yeah, buddy. Oh, man, that was actually kind of nice. That was quite fun, not gonna lie. Yo, watch this. She came out of nowhere. It's kind of unfortunate because I want to get Sacred Oath, which means I have to kill him again with the Spotted Whip. Oh, no, because I can just poison him and run away. I might have to pass on Sacred Oath because if I burn an aesthetic, that's going to strengthen Vendrick as well, I'm pretty sure. I always use it, so we'll pass on it anyways. Sacred Chime Hammer. So we're getting this, of course. Spotted Whip, it was fun while it lasted, but you got to go. Yeah, sure, why not? I have three. I'll put lightning on this. There it is. Extra bright bug. And let's go. Let's go to town. That's pretty good. Go crazy, homie. Yes, sir. Oh, come on. Good RNG. I like it. Bro is breathing fire. Oh, I love it. Critical. I love you. I love this. Where are you going? Back in R2 him. Get his ass. Yeah, get his ass. Oh, shit. I actually did damage. No way. I'll be damned. Now oh, we're finishing him off with the R2 for sure. Get your ass over here, chief. Oh, no. Come on, get his ass. No way. Oh. <laughs> it actually killed him. All hell, Plankton. Drake Wing Ultra Greatsword. I'm low-key feeling this more than this, so let's go ahead and pick it up. 
Once again, put the uh, Sacred Time Hammer in the vault. Good amount more damage. I'll take it. I'm going to need a little bit more, yeah. My next boss that I want to kill. Uh, actually, Throne Watchers, yeah. Here we go, Throne Watchers. I'm going to start with the R2. That tickled him. That actually, no, that gave him HP. Let's go. Okay, that's good damage. Oh, shit. Oh, hell yeah. I like that. Bro's buffing up again. How many pan resins y'all got? R2 this shit. <laughs> Bitch is Russian. All right, she dead. Go ahead, go revive her. Stupid. Hell no. Oh no, wait. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit tough. I ain't gonna lie. I don't have the king's ship, whatever, from the giant lord, so Nashandra is not gonna spawn. I'm going for the defender sword. Hell yeah. All right, I'll take that. I'll put that on. Get rid of the uh, Drake wing ultra great sword. I need more endurance, vigor, and all that sort of stuff. So let me get that process over with now, so I don't have to worry about it later on. Yeah, I'm just gonna farm Ron for a little bit. I'm only level 149. Ideally, I want to be like at least 200. You know, without reinforcements, I want to get the extra uh, levels to help me out. Especially with these next few bosses that are going to be kind of tough. One more hit. Hell yeah, perfect. Alright, nice. Nice. Alright, round two done. And boom. There we go. Another kill. R1, R2. Beautiful. Alright, that's it. Bunch of souls. Put this back in the vault by the rest of the bright bugs. Yep, the last batch. Five of these and five of these. All right, that looks good. Level 191, 22 vigor, 25 endurance, 48 strength, 48 dex, 25 adaptability, and 40 faith. Oh, that's a big damage increase. Hell yeah, brother. I'll take it. Pop up bright bug, buff up, L2. That's so cool. And let's go to town. No, that's not bad. Hell yeah. Let me do some thrust attacks. Oh, baby. What's up, homie? Oh, critical. My shit ran out. Don't worry, I can re-buff. Oh, that's how. That's how Throne, uh, Throne Defender is uh, buffing up all the time. I thought he had unlimited uh, Pine Resins. No. The man's just pressed L2. That's it. Holy big ass feet, bro. Let me end you. And wa pow. Yo, wait, I don't want to let go of this weapon. It's actually nice. Weird thing about Ancient Dragon, we got to go to the memory to pick up his soul. Here we go. Examine. There we go. Let's go. Grave 5, 9, bond time to the grave. There it is, Ancient Dragon Soul, baby. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Talk to my shorty once again. The Curved Dragon Greatsword. Yeah, pick that bad boy up. There we go. Put the uh, Defender Greatsword in the vault. 421. More damage is more damage. We got Dark Lurker. That's going to be fun. Oh, shit. Let me rub. Hell yeah. Let's go. You know what? Pretty good. Oh, shit. Perfect. R2 now. Oh, I like that. Playing damn hide and seek. Not on my watch. Nice little stagger. Let's go. She buffing up. Two for one. Oh, shit. All right, this is where things get tough. Okay. Bitch is going crazy. Bitches be crazy. Two hits for one. I like it. One more hit. Two more hits. Some shit like that. I don't even know. Don't even count. Just go crazy. Let's go. Boom, bitch. Critical hit, too. There we go. Dark Lurker's soul. She doesn't sell any weapons. The only thing you can trade for her soul, this spell right here. Once again, cost 20 intelligence, which is why I held on to it. And 35 faith. We have more than 35, so we're good. This I can reinforce this with Tainite Shards. I'm going to be fighting Giant Lord next. And Giant Lord is weak to dark, so this might go well. And we'll put that bad boy in the box. There we go. It can also hurt you, too, so you got to be careful. There we go. And plus 10, because we got two slabs, so we're chilling. Infuse it with dark. Get, like, a bunch more damage. Definitely worth it, so. Or this gives me more dark damage. We'll talk to the homie. We'll buy, like, I don't know. Let's buy all these, sure. There's another soul vessel on the right over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. There it is. And a soul of a great hero. 20,000 souls as well. No, we have two. Yeah, that's fine. But yeah, you can farm this one in an unlimited amount uh, by burning the ascetic to kill a giant lord. Every time you kill him, you can burn another ascetic. And that allows you to come back here. The item here respawns. And you can just come back here and pick it up again. But this guy, let's see. You know what? That's not bad. Holy. 1,200 damage. That's not bad. Yeah, that's pretty good. Holy. Could have did better. Where's that shit going, bro? The door? There we go. Much better. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, my God. I'm killing myself. Relax. Holy. His HP. We just... I wasn't even looking. All right. Here we go. Round two. Oh. Okay. Yeah. See? <laughs> I had a feeling. This shit would be crazy. <laughs> what? Yo. I kind of want to try that again. This shit melted him. I have to. No bright bug this time. Damn. That's still good. That is still good. Bro, you can just spam this shit. Hello? What is this? Half HP? Holy. Let's go crazy. Oh my lord. That is disgusting. 
bro what is that <laughs> it takes out like a big chunk of their hp and then it just continuously does damage over time yeah with more casting speed i can probably do three at a time there we go let's get rid of that it was fun hell yeah giant lord soul by trading it you get this spell called repel for a brief moment no damage can be inflicted so we'll get one of them of course yeah so it does not do any damage we'll get the extra five from the ring yeah we'll get 30 faith okay so that's gonna be our new stats to use it pull this lever I'm gonna jump on here nice open up this chest all right southern ritual ban plus one so hopefully that gives me enough slots because uh, i need three slots to equip repel put that bad boy on there we go three slots all right we're chilling Hold on, i gotta time it properly there we go see kind of cool neglect any damage okay hell yeah look at that immune look at that so once again since we did not get a boss weapon from giant lord we're going to use whatever boss weapon we can get right now so for an example i have thrown watcher's soul so i'm going to go ahead and trade that for the weapon we'll use that along with uh, repel to fight the next boss go ahead and trade for that nice it's time to take on vendrick let's go here we go what's up there we go okay all right time to use repel at least once or a couple of times okay that's not the right way to use it my bad fam oh we got here we go hell yeah look at that damage neglected Let's do it again. Yes, sir. Let me cook. Let me buff up. All right, let's do it. Throne, watch your sword. Go crazy. Holy. Go stupid. Look at his damage. Oh, I love that swipe. Let me rub. R2. R2. <laughs> L1. Hell yeah, block that shit. And yes, sir. I don't want to get rid of it. And repel puts in work. I mean, you can just dodge, but if you don't want to dodge, you can just... Brrr put this bad boy in here there we go uh, you can open this up once you kill vendrick i believe soul of the king that's right pick up the uh vendrick set i think i want to get the ruler's sword we'll get this bad boy i'm gonna get life drain patch back yep ring of prayer yeah to increase our faith by five so i don't have to respec watch your great sword in the vault yeah let's get this and let's go ahead and farm giant lord because uh for those who don't know the ruler sword uh it does more damage uh scaling with your souls attack boosted by souls held so i believe it maxes out at a million souls this should do it Boom! Oh, I love this spell. Boom! You dead? God damn. That was quick as hell. I gotta respect anyways, actually. Get my sunlight blade back. Looking good. That's our new stats. Head in here. Nashandra, here we come. Max damage, baby. What are you doing? Okay, bet. Say less. Holy, look at that counter damage, too. You were acting weird today. Shorty's geeking. Shit is blessed. Okay, a couple more hits. Hit that ass. R2 beautiful all right that's nashandra let's get the hell out of here before uh, aldia comes because uh i want to save him of course once we kill him we don't get a soul so yeah i'm gonna save him so we got the bow of wands of course the chime of wand and the scythe of wand i'm getting that scythe of wand baby put this back in the vault nice got a plenty of souls to level up with all right that's a new build level 217 30 vigor 30 endurance 12 vitality 30 adaptability and 22 intelligence uh that's all the base game bosses so let's go ahead and head to the dlc so i'm gonna go for elena first with the scythe of wand what up girl Knock off Nashandra. Let's see the damage. That's not bad. Okay, that's fine with me. Bitch swinging that shit. Relax. Let me put... Oh, my lord. Thank God I have the dark defense ring. Where are you going, shorty? Summon the dogs. Oh, there you go. Finally. All right, let me cook. Critical. I love you. What do you summon? Affinity? Let's go. Let me cook. Oh. oh. Bro, she came from behind me. That's my job. Can't let that pass. She did it again. She doubled it down. More affinity. Come on, let's go. Well, this R2 doesn't it never hits. Fresh meat, baby. Oh, she almost dead. Oh no, I'm almost dead. Kill her ass. Let's go. This ring low-key came in clutch. Get her weapon, of course. I've never tried her weapon, so I'm curious to see what it's like. Let alone against Sunbrain Dragon. The Wrathful Axe. 28 faith. Wow. 275 damage. That's kind of crazy. So put this bad boy in the box. Wake your ass up, homie. New Yasmania video. Running attack. Wait a minute, this thing is crazy. Plus zero? Hit his head. Yo, it actually does damage. Sack of shit. Running attack. Critical two. I love it. Yeah, even without something play, it still cooks. Big boy damage, right boys? I mean that's not bad. Kill his ass here. Don't get his ass. Running attack. Weapon at risk? Nah, homie, your life's at risk. Crown of the sun, Ken King. But uh I don't know. I'm contemplating whether I want to kill the gang fight or not. Because they don't have any weapons, like they don't give a soul, so like, we can't get a weapon from them. But I think I'm just going to skip the gang fight. Forget that, it's no fun. Honestly, I was thinking of getting a uh, killing Deuce Freya again, getting the old Pillagric soul, and just spamming Crystal Soul Spear. But whatever, I'm kind of running short on time, so I need to wrap this up. So I'm just going to go for the bosses who have boss souls. We're going to head towards uh, Ava next. 
No way it's a one shot. Oh my god, it's a one shot. Oh my lord. Are my stats that high? Or is this weapon just busted? I'm not even sure the York Spear is a one shot from the backstab. Backstab. The damage. Trade York Spear. There it is. Put this in the vault. If you guys have seen my York Spear video, you guys know this weapon's a beast. For sure, this is about to be a breeze, bro. Wake your ass up, Chief. Are you doing that shit already? Look at this running attack. And watch the double R1. Look at that damage, bro. Plus zero. What is that damage? R2. Look at that. He's dead. Oh my lord, almost. Boom. Beautiful weapon, bro. I'm telling you. It's so good. I know my stats are high, but can you imagine at plus five? With an infusion, too. This thing scales really good with an infusion. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get the key to Ludden's Allen. There it is. So we got the Ivory Straight Sword. That's right. So we'll go ahead and pick that up. Put this in the vault. We got Endurance Vigor. All right, we'll buy a bunch of repair powders. Yeah, sure. 18 is fine. Let's take on Ludden's Allen. See how it goes. Here we go. What you doing? R2. Boom. Oh, there's a big chunk. Not that serious. Oh, no. In his face. Yeah, buddy. Come on, let me hit you. R2. Pussy clots. Literally, two pussy clots. Oh, no, this is not good. Y'all both are doing it. Hell no. Nah. Wrong hood. Just get him. I don't care. King in armor, king. Holy. Oh, you better nut. R2. Oh, my God. That does damage. What is this R2? Imagine reinforced. One more hit. Let's go. All right, we bing chilling now, buddy. What's up, homie? You can do whatever you want. I'm good. Nah, right to the face. Here we go. Boom. Look at that damage. Beautiful. What you looking at, huh? Looking at me all devious. Okay, my bad. Shit. Do it again. In his guts. Holy. Again. No. R2. Boom. All right, we're chilling. Go ahead. Buff up. Yeah, look at him backing away. R1. R2. No way. Do no damage. Okay, this is not good. R2, come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He gets a damage reduction? I didn't know that. Oh, my God. He gets damage increase, too. Okay, okay. Perfect time. I think, oh, it stopped? Oh, not yet. Wait, it did. Finish him off. No. I dare to jump at me. Come on. R2. Boom. It's actually good. The R2 attacks where it's at. That shit is. All right. So we got the, yeah, the Lois Greatsword. Oh, that's pretty good. A shield. You know what? We'll get both. We'll get this. Hell yeah. Against the uh, Ivory King. Gradually restores HP. No way. Holy, that's crazy. Let's go see if an infusion is better with this real quick. Because I'm going to need it for Ivory King for sure. So let me go back to McDonald's stuff. Reinforce? No. Wait, 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 wait. Twinkling Tynites? You're lying. It's a boss traded weapon. What? That's so cool. Might as well. Ivory King's gonna be easy as hell now. There we go. Oh, baby, look at the damage increase. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'll definitely put a bolt stone on this. 100%. Yeah, Petrified Dragon Bones. I don't, that's so weird. I don't know. I ain't complaining. See, these knights are tanky. If this was not plus five, it'd be taking forever to kill them. All right, who's he going for? All right, we're chilling. Kill this guy quickly. Oh, look at this damage. Almost three hits. Oh, let's go. Why not you finish them off? Real one. All right, let me cook. Bro, get in the damn portal. Get out of here, son. No way he kills him. Nah, nah, but you ain't killing shit. He's buffing up already? No way. R1, R2. Oh, baby. The damage. Halfway through. We're chilling. I got adaptability, bitch. R1, R2. Look at that. It's a beauty. There we go. Fantastic. Crown of the Ivory King. That went a lot better than I thought. I love the attack pattern. And the fact that we could reinforce it, that helped out a lot. Thank the Lord. That's all the bosses in this DLC. What we got is the old Iron King DLC. The Ivory King Ultra Greatsword. Give me that shit, boy. Yeah, this thing's a beast, honestly. Wait, a one shot? If I can hit him. There we go. Blow up this wall so we can open up this chest and get eight Petrified Dragon Bones. Now we got a bunch, so we can reinforce two weapons, honestly. There's two more right there. Yeah, I'll take those. Hell on my face. All right, here we go. Blue Smelter Demon. That's fine. Oh, I love it. Look at that. R1, R2. The damage. Critical. I love to see it. Love to hear it. Love to be it. Love to feel it. Real one. Boom. Boom. R2. Look at the combo. If you guys have not tried it, definitely give it a try. Look at the stagger. <laughs> Let's go. We are murking him. R2. Boom. All right. That's phenomenal. I mean, no doubt in my mind it was going to be good. Blue smelter sword or aged smelter sword has magic damage instead of fire damage. Put it in the vault. What's up, homie? R2. Okay, good damage. Come on, give me a critical R2. R2, come on. Ooh, when I ask for it, they deliver. Come on, give me another one. Uh, I think I'm asking for too much now. R2, come on. Let's go. Do it again. Oh, you blocking it, huh? 
I ain't afraid no more. Couple more hits. You being weird. One more R2, baby. Let's go. Come on. Boom! Can't ask for more. There it is. Crown of the Old Iron King. One more DLC boss to go. And you boys already know. Either the Fume Sword or the uh, Fume Ultra Great Sword. But, but for sure, we're picking up this. Put this in the vault. There we go. Endurance, Vigor. That should be good. Level 221. Not bad. We only have Sir Alone and Aldia. So, I'm going to reinforce this bad boy. Plus one, two, three, four. So yeah, we can get plus five. We'll get plus five. Eleven left over. This bonfire. Pick up this corpse. Three petrified dragon bones. Purchase one of these. Now we got 15. So we can reinforce our next weapon to plus five. Oh yeah, a lot more damage. Holy, almost 100 more damage. Yeah, 785. Here we go, sir alone. Samurai fight. Big dog, let's go. Hell yeah, it's been a minute. Let me cook. There's the damage. I ain't gotta worry about that. We got damage for days. Okay. Very nice. I can do this forever. Forever, I tell you. Critical. Hell yeah, baby. That shit too easy, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, switch it up. Don't do the same shit over and over again. There you go. I'm proud of you. No way, buddy. No way, Jose. No way. <laughs> there we go. Holy seppuku. Bro, this weapon's too busted. I forgot the L2 attack. Oh, man. Should have finished it off with that. There it is. One of my favorite weapons in the game. Give me that shit. The final boss weapon. So we'll go ahead and put it on. Put this in the vault. Finally reinforcing. Feels good. And then infuse as well. A lot more damage too. Give me that shit. We got one more bright bug and that's for Aldia. So yeah, Aldia is the only boss left. Man, this feels weird killing him last. Nice start, nice start. Look at this damage. Beautiful. All right, buff up. Let's go. Look at this beauty. Beauty of a beast. Homie, you made a mistake. Mistake. Oh, he put his fire up quick. He knew. Oh, buddy, you're dead. Wait, hold on. <laughs> there we go. There it is, Sir Alone Sword. I made sure to save this weapon for last. All base game bosses, all DLC bosses, except for the gang fight, because they don't give a boss soul or a weapon you can get out of them. Yeah, boys, that was it. That was a lot of fun. Uh, you know, just switching up the boss weapons every single time. You can even do it without reinforcing every single weapon, as you saw in the video. I only reinforced the Lois Greatsword and the Fee Macha Greatsword and the Bewitched Alone Sword. You just have to level up a little bit. And, you know, these are my stats overall. You can just farm Rotten or Giant Lord once you get to him for the stats you want. Honestly, the hardest part was the beginning, uh, you know, using like Soul Shower for an example and trying to get rid of like Last Giant. As funny as it is, I couldn't even kill him. There are some things that are going to be uh, kind of hard to use. If you strategize it properly, it'll be a breeze, honestly and it's a lot of fun once you get to the mid game uh and late game it's even more fun because you have more options old iron king soul you can get a blinding bolt if you kill a lost center again on new game plus you can get chaos blade yeah so i didn't get them all obviously even for an example like fume knife if i want to get the uh, fume sword i would have to kill him again on new game plus we didn't use all the uh boss traded weapons but we used the majority of them so the crossbow the great shield and this shield and the club yeah pretty much got all of these we only uh, missed out on numbness and sacred oath the only ones we did not get were the king's mirror the shield king's shield watcher's shield bow of want chime of want spitfire spear spider silk and the fume sword let's take all of them out let's take a look at what we got holy from the top there we go wow there's quite a few of them oh my lord it did not feel like it honestly it was so much fun going through each and every one of them that it did not feel like there was this much and then we had the staff of wisdom we used in the beginning of with soul shower cleric's chime with uh sunlight blade we also incorporated a uh, dark weapon for a little bit kathith's chime for uh, life train patch which we'll go through right now the spells yeah heavy homing soul arrow from rune sentinels soul shower from uh, scorpion and snatchka uh, sunlight that blade was an addition to buffing up a uh, toxic mist from uh the vanguard acid surge from authority dark weapon as well for buffing up repel from giant lord and life drain patch from dark lurker it's not much of a challenge it's more of a fun run so if you guys want to try it out like i said definitely give it a go it's honestly really really cool and the best part about it is you can switch it up to whatever you want it's very versatile that's the best part about it honestly in my opinion and the ring sets mostly coin to ring flynn's ring ring of blades uh lightning clutch ring uh, old Leo ring, some spell quartz rings for defense, uh, this sometimes to get requirements for spells. It was a pretty versatile run. Of course, we had the engraved gauntlet to get more critical hits on all of our weapons to get more damage, and we had a little bit of drip, of course. Other than that, that's pretty much it, boys. And once again, the stats, level 221, 
it was pretty nice to just uh, go through the flow with the bosses and these kind of stats allow for that uh, so you don't have to worry about you know lacking you know endurance vigor adaptability or whatnot so i pretty much had a good basis of every single attribute honestly yeah it was great yeah boys i appreciate you guys for watching i appreciate you guys for coming back once again i'm sorry for the delay i know it's been like what four weeks or three weeks since my last upload and it's been a very busy month and i just i'm very sorry for the uh, delay and i appreciate you guys for being patient i appreciate you guys so much and i love you guys i appreciate you guys waiting and i hope you guys enjoyed honestly hopefully i can get a video by next week you know the holidays are still going the busy days are yet to come because we got christmas coming up and we got boxing day so uh, my other job is pretty busy i wish you all a happy holiday and i hope you guys enjoy your day or night thank you boys for the support once again it means the world to me all right boys much love i'll see you on the next one all right all right take it easy boys